Welcome back to another episode of uh, Let's Play Roma in Football Manager 2019. I'm Aether, and right now we are staring at the screen from the Italian Cup Final two seasons ago. It was the first time we reached the Italian Cup Final, but we ended up with a devastating loss versus Napoli. Four goals against two. But now the moment have arrived that maybe, just maybe, we can take revenge from this Cup Final. Because... Take a look at the schedule. It's once again time for an Italian Cup Final. And once again we play versus Napoli. And we want to win it. We definitely want to win it. And to make things even more interesting. Not only did we lose that Cup Final versus Napoli. The last time we played them in the Cup Final. We also lost the last game we played against them. It wasn't too far away. We lost with one goal versus two at home. In our own fortress. And that's, of course, something we are not okay with. So, yeah, big game coming up. But first, let's take a look at what have been going on since that quarterfinal in Champions League versus Man United. So we played one game. It was away versus Sampdoria. Sampdoria, I think they are in more or less relegation spot. Yes, though, relegation spot. And we managed to win. Looking at the table, uh, we are still one point behind AC Milan. So... The league is very much open, and then we have Juve just one point behind us. So it's basically three teams, and it's two points uh, between us. And um, yeah, well, this is really, really tough. I think don't think we've seen a close league like this since the first or second season, maybe. But today it's all about the cup final, and um, this is the way we're going to be starting the game. We're back to playing our more attack-minded formation. But of course, a lot of rotations. Pereira is suspended, for example. Well, Garrison played the last game, so a young kid, Figuera, will start this one. But, I mean, he's a very talented youngster, so he's not quite there yet. But if he keeps on developing, he's going to be a, a beast in the midfield. And also, of course, we need to reward Morilla. Not only did he score when he came on as a sub in um, in the Champions League game, he also actually scored in, in, in the last game. He came on as a sub once again. And he scored. So he scored two goals in a row. That means he have, he's deserving a starting place. Let's see if he can can make it three, make it an an hat trick in goals uh, with three games, uh, no, three, one goal a game in three games in a row. Uh, kind of weird hat trick they just made up right now. But we know how good Napoli is. As I said, we just lost against them in the league, and we lost against them in the last uh, Italian Cup final. May but maybe maybe this is our time and. Uh, I mean, we want to, but we need to talk about the, the last game, of course. We're going to tell them that we owe Napoli after what happened in our last match. Go out there and get revenge. And most of them agrees. And uh, that was the reaction we were after. Now, hopefully, we can see it on the pitch. And, of course, last time, you, you probably remember when we played them in the league, we were using a much, much weaker team. We were resting all of our best players to have them fit for the Champions League game. And it came with a costly price, losing at home versus Napoli. Now, though, we have we're not using our best players in all positions, especially up on top, where where we are playing both Young Marilla and this happens insignia. But we are playing both uh, uh, Egistine and, and and Marilla up on top. But other than and, and of course Pereira is suspended. But other than these three, I mean, we have our more or less strongest uh, defense line, and we have two out of three. Probably a very, very really good midfield. And of course we have Arp on the pitch. So not our strongest team. But definitely a stronger team than we used against them last time. But this, this is Napoli again. Maybe we need to do some changes here. Because things doesn't look the way we want to. Look at the statistics. But I mean it's still early. You're getting a few chances here. Show some passion lads. I think I might change things around for Gegging Press. Because right now we're trying to go control. Locatelli for Florenzi. Back to Locatelli. A long cross for Pellegrini. And oh, Marilla picks it up. But that's going to be a corner. But it was a really good save. And that's of course was... Um, we have two... Wait, what? Yeah, it's a corner kick. We have two um, Pellegrini on the pitch. And that was... Um, left back Pellegrini. Another. That's going to be another corner. No? I thought it was a corner, but um, clearly not. And we have overtaken them in chances. Now we just need to actually put some pressure on them. It's Upamancano. The long cross for Arp. Can he win this challenge? Yes, he can. He breaks through and nothing. Come on, lads. This is a cup final. How many cup finals do you play in your careers? 
You need to uh, give it all. This is it cup final? This is a thing you're going to be telling your grandchildren uh, about in the future. But we are. It looks like we are going to head into to half time with one goal down. We are not pleased. We are not amused at all. The lads need to know. It's going to go aggressive. Tell them it's time to show something else. Let's also go to the tactic screen. I'm not going to go crazy at attacking yet. We are, we are I'm definitely considering it, but uh, we're not going to do it yet. But let's go again, yeah, press, see to put uh, what happens. We try to put some, some more pressure on them. And uh, I'm still staying positive, but we might change that to attacking very soon too. Maybe even show, change up the formation, going even more attacking. What just takes the weight though? Not much going on here in the second half. We got statistics, not much going on there either. But as we get a few chances, I think we should pause it now. Let's go attacking. Then give it a few more minutes and then we're going to change up the formation. But here's Insignia with the corner for Napoli. On the roll, picks it up. Can we create something here? Maybe a counter attack. If, if we can start something quickly, up on Mancano. With Pellegrini back to Upon Mancano. Locatelli, Upon Mancano, Pellegrini. Pellegrini with a long, long cross for Arp. Arp breaks through all by himself, and this time he misses again. My gosh, Arp, you should be our goal scoring machine. I'm a beast. I'm a monster. The one that never misses. Here's Marilla. Here's Marilla. And no, oh, that could have been that um, weird hat trick I just made up before the game. We have Pellegrini with a corner into the box. Cleared. Up on Mancano. He loses it. Shula is back. Locatelli. Shule, and that's the highlight. I mean, we are clearly creating chances, but now let's. Uh, I know what I'm going to do here. I, I have a special thing in mind. So um, let's take a look at the ratings. Figueroa has been garbage. He needs to go. Um, what we are going to do here is uh, this. We're going to bring Morilla down as a shadow striker. Yes, the position he was playing at when he scored in uh, in the Champions League game. And uh, that is his position. Because he's been garbage right now as a striker, but maybe this is what he, he needs. And then Figueira, you're off. Let's bring in... No, not Florenzi. Misclicked. Uh, Figueira, uh, let's bring in Egwene. As a deep-lying forward, focusing on attack. And then let's see here who else. I'm considering subbing Arp just because of uh, he's been garbage, missing all those huge chances. Um, but let, let's just try this for a little while. You see how it feels before we make the next sub. And we want you to show some passion, guys. Just takes away nothing at all, and instead we see Napoli with a free kick into the box. And Donnarumma, let please don't, let something else happen here. Hopefully, that wasn't the highlight. Hopefully, the real highlight comes now from Pellegrini from Arp. Arp, remember, I let you stay on. I was considering subbing you. Now it's time for you to show I made the right decision. And Morilla, a decent try, but just not good enough. Let's pause it here. 10 minutes to create a miracle. What can we do here? Locatelli, you haven't been good enough. Risk bringing Cristante. And uh, then the last sub. Ah, uh, this is difficult. Who should we go with? I think actually, I guess thing. let's bring in uh, Nicolas up on top. We need a goal now. We need desperately. It's time to go with very attacking. And also, uh, uh, also, let's just go route one. Just bump it up. Very attacking. Just bump it up, guys. We need this desperately. Come on, lads. This is a cup final. Show some passion for God damn it. Get a little bit creative. Focus sticks away. They created more chances than them. With three minutes of extra time, really. But here's a throw in Florenzi for Cristante. Back to Florenzi. Cristante into the box. Goes for Pellegrini. To nothing. To Pellegrini. To Pellegrini. Cristante, you need to win this one because it could be a very dangerous counter attack. This is not what we want to see. Beautiful. But now win it, win it, win it, win it, guys. We need to get this highlight. We need it desperately. This can't be for Napoli because this is most likely the last highlight of the game. Focus, lads. Focus, focus. Win it back. Do some beautiful Cristante. Cristante, no mistakes now. No mistakes are allowed. Go for Donnarumma. Donnarumma with a long, long goal kick. But where is this one heading? I'm so nervous. No, not this direction. This is wrong, guys. 
This is not what we wanted. And that's unfortunately for us. Game, set, match, Napoli. And once again, we have been defeated in an Italian Cup final by Napoli. I feel like lately, like Napoli's really become our, our nemesis. It was quite some time since they, they challenged for the league title last time. But we are really, really struggling against them. Now this is, of course, now we're just waiting for the full-time whistle. And a very disappointing moment. This is... But the, uh, the good thing, not a good thing, but it's definitely no good thing with, with losing a cup final. But what, what, what I wanted to say, hopefully this just motivates the lads a little bit extra for the Champions League and the league. Because, I mean, we, we could end up this season without any titles. As you saw before in the league, we are not topping. Like last season, we were like 10 points ahead of everybody else. Now we're in second place with Juve as one point behind us. And of course, in the Champions League, it's always difficult. And talk about Champions League, I forgot to mention that. But the draw for the semi finals ha happened. And we got Chelsea, a very tough opponent. And uh, yeah, oh, this is the depressing to watch this screen. Really depressing to see Napoli celebrate. But I guess hats off to them. They, they were the better team. They scored twice. We didn't score a, a single time, even though we created more chances than them. So. Uh, we need, just need to tell the lads that this was disappointing. I am very disappointed now. But hopefully this was the low point of the season. And from now on, it will only get better. Because it's time to step it up for the Champions League. We never won the Champions League. And we are struggling in the league, guys. Time to step it up. But that's it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. And I'll see you in the next episode.